Would you believe it if I told you? In just a few minutes, you could be solving word problems like this by turning them into an algebraic equation and solving using hands-on equations legal moves. Let's get started solving verbal problems. There are five steps to follow as you solve these verbal problems. The first step is to decide what X represents. Let's take a look at this problem. Sam bought two orders of small fries and a burger. He spent a total of $7. If the burger cost $3, how much did each order of small fries cost? Let's think about the unknown. What is it that we don't know? That will be our X. What I don't know is the cost of each order of small fries. So my X is going to be the cost of an order of a small fries. Step two is to set up the equation. My equation is going to be seven is equal to three plus two X. The seven represents the total amount of money that Sam spent. Three represents the cost of a burger. Two X represents the two orders of small fries. If each order of small fries is worth just one X, two orders are worth two X's. So the equation is seven is equal to three plus two X. Step three is to solve the equation. I'm going to set up my equation on my hands-on equation mat. My equation is seven is equal to three plus two X. Now I'm going to use my legal moves to solve the equation. If I remove three from each side, that leaves me with four is equal to two X. That means that each X is equal to two. Step four is to check my answer. I'm going to check my answer by putting everything back the way it started and replacing the value for x to solve the equation. So if I believe that each x is equal to two, two plus two is four, plus three is seven, and seven is equal to seven. Now that I've checked my answer, I'll move on to step five. For step five, you're going to make sure to write your answer, including a label. I'm going to record my answer in a sentence, making sure I have a label for what the two represents. In this case, it was dollars. So I have each order of small fries costs $2. Let's try another problem. In this problem, it says that Mary went to the store and spent $12. She bought three equally priced notebooks. How much did each notebook cost? So we're trying to figure out the cost of each notebook. Step one is to decide, decide what X represents. Well, if I don't know the cost of the notebook, each of my X's is going to represent the cost of a notebook. Next, I need to set up my equation. I know she spent a total of $12, and that was equal to what she paid for three equally priced notebooks. So my equation is going to be 12, the $12 she spent is equal to three X's. If each X is equal to a notebook and she bought three notebooks, that's three X's. So 12 is equal to three X. 
Next, I need to solve my equation. 12 is equal to 3x's. When I see this on my mat, I can quickly tell if each x is an equal value, 3 x is equal to 12, well that would mean that each x is equal to 4. And when I check that, if I replace the value of x with 4, 4, 8, 12, 12 is equal to 12, that checks. So x is equal to 4, and I check 12 is equal to 12. The last step after checking my work is to write a sentence with a label to answer the question we were trying to solve. If the question is how much did each notebook cost, my sentence could be each notebook costs four dollars. The label is dollars because we were trying to find cost. We were dealing with money in the problem. Now it's your turn to give hands-on equations verbal problems a try.